Welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith, and today we're looking at reasons why electric motors overheat and how to prevent it. Overheating is one of the leading causes of motor winding and bearing failure. But what are the most common causes of electric motors overheating? Today, I'll help you to avoid overheating in the first place or troubleshoot if the motor is already overheating. At eMotors Direct, our mission is to streamline the motor procurement process, reducing the time spent sourcing motor replacements. If you're frustrated with back orders, finding in-stock alternatives, or just tired of waiting to get a simple quote back, the team at eMotors can help. Give our team of motor experts a call and get some time back in your day. So, why is overheating a problem? Most motors are built to operate in ambient temperatures of 40 degrees or less. When the operating temperature increases just 10 degrees above that, the motor's lifespan is cut in half. Overheating is usually caused by overloading, ventilation issues, voltage issues, or harmonics. Motor overload is when the driving force of the equipment is faced with the resistance higher than the manufacturer's acceptable rating. Most motors run at their highest efficiency when subject to only 75% of the manufacturer's load rating. This allows the motor to operate at a lower temperature and consume less power. Check out our overload video for troubleshooting tips and overload protection tips for three-phase motors. Ventilation is another reason the motor may be overheating. Motors are designed to dissipate heat generated during operation. This cooling system can consist of air ducts, air deflectors, cooling fans, and cooling fins. Clogged air ducts, a buildup of contaminants, or running slower than the rated speed may limit the cooling system. External factors like ambient temperature, altitude, and even the sun can affect a motor's ability to cool itself. Motors will run most optimally when the voltage applied is equal to the nameplate rating. Running a motor at a voltage deficit requires a higher amperage to produce the power needed, and this additional current generates more heat due to the resistance. Running the motor with a voltage above the saturation point, or its maximum level, will also cause an additional current and excess heat. An unbalanced voltage in a three-phase motor will also result in overheating due to the voltage spikes. Lastly, what are the effects of harmonics on motors? Harmonics are the distortion of the sine wave, frequency of the total circuit, by waveforms of other frequencies. These can be caused by the addition of rectifiers, fans, and pumps. The stray harmonics produced will create a negative torque that's in opposition to the torque created by the motor. This negative torque increases the load on the motor, causing the motor to have to work harder and in turn, producing more heat. I hope this helps you maintain the life of your motor. Have follow-up questions? Leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get you an answer. Thanks to everyone who's been following along with our videos so far. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when we release the next episode. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's electric motor supplier. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.